Hello everyone. In this video, we will install and configure MicroTik router on Hyper-V. MicroTik will act as the main router, connecting to two virtual switches to manage network traffic. Virtual switch 1, W1, configured in external mode, allowing MicroTik to obtain an IP address from the physical network's DHCP virtual switch 2 LAN 11, set up in internal only mode creating a private network between MicroTik and other virtual machines on Hyper-V without direct access to the outside network. Make sure that Hyper-V is installed and running on your system before getting started. Step 2. Download WinBox and MicroTik file for Hyper-V. Download the VHDX file and the MicroTik version you want to use. Extract the downloaded file. Step 3. Create a virtual switch on Hyper-V. Virtual switch 1, named Internet, is configured in external mode and connected to the host's physical network adapter. Virtual switch 2, named LAN11, is configured in internal network mode, simulating the LAN11 network. Step 4. Configure IP addresses on the host for virtual switch 1 and 2. Virtual switch 1. Internet emulates a WAN network and is connected like a computer in your network. Virtual Switch 2 emulates the LAN 11 network and is used to connect internal devices within the virtualized environment. To ensure that the host can communicate with virtual machines in this LAN, you can assign a static IP address to the host. Prepare a virtual machine to simulate a client in the LAN 11 network to verify the result ensuring that it can communicate with Macrotic and other devices in the same network. Set a static IP address for the client in advance to verify the result during the installation process. At this moment, the client in the LAN 11 network cannot ping Microtic or Google. Step 6. Create a virtual machine for Microtic on Hyper-V. Name your virtual machine to easily identify it in Hyper-V and manage it later. Select Virtual Switch 1, named Internet. Select Use an Existing Virtual Hard Disk and choose the VHDX file you downloaded in Step 2.
Now, we need to make some adjustments to the configuration. Earlier, we added a network adapter as Virtual Switch 1, Internet, to simulate the WAN network. Now, we need to add Virtual Switch 2, LAN 11, to simulate the LAN 11 network. Setup is complete. Now, start the virtual machine to install MicroTiki. Set a new password for the admin account. So, we have successfully installed Microtik on Hyper-V. Next, we will proceed with the configuration. Open Winbox. Select Neighbors to scan for the Microtik device. Click on the MAC address. Then enter the login credentials you set earlier. Step 9. Configure IP address for the LAN interface. Microtik has two network interfaces. Ethernet 1 acts as the WAN, connecting to the computer's LAN network, and obtaining a dynamic IP from the DHCP server. We will configure Ethernet 2 as the LAN for MicroTIC. Enter the IP address for Ethernet 2 LAN 11. At this point, devices in Microtik's LAN 11 network can communicate with each other but still cannot access the Internet. Next, we need to configure NAT to enable Internet access for devices in LAN 11. Click Add to create a new rule. In the General tab, configure the following settings. Then, switch to the Action tab. Finally, click Apply to save the settings and activate the rule. As soon as the rule is activated, the computers in LAN 11 can access the Internet. That's it. Wish you all success. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching.